What a difference a day makes. The Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals has told the Department of Homeland Security it can go ahead and implement once again its public charge rule. This ruling came November 3rd, just one day after a federal district judge in Chicago blocked the public charge rule from taking effect. It was November 2nd that U.S. District Judge Jerry Feinerman blocked the rule nationwide, saying it violated the Administrative Procedures Act. But fast forward one day to November 3rd, and the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals stayed that decision, which means they put a hold on Judge Feinerman's blocking of the rule. What does this mean? Well, it means what was approved was a motion for stay pending appeal and request for immediate administrative stay. That was approved on November 3rd, and the appealing party's response to the court is due November 17th. So at least for two weeks, this rule can go back into effect. We will learn more on November 17th. Until then, like we said, the more restrictive public charge definition takes effect once again. What this means for individuals that are trying to determine process steps. Well, the Department of Homeland Security, USCIS, has said adjustment of status applications and non-immigrant extensions and change of status applications must continue to be submitted with public charge forms and documentation until further notice. So they can give us some clarity on what paperwork is required of individuals that are changing status. Now keep this rule straight from the State Department's public charge rule. That continues to be blocked. The adjudication through the courts on the public charge rule out of the Department of Homeland Security is the only rule we're talking about today. USCIS also said that they would immediately start reapplying the public charge rule to pending cases. They won't look back in time and re-adjudicate any cases that were already decided when the rule was blocked. But moving forward, now that the rule is re-implemented, they will start applying it to cases moving forward. And the litigation is going to continue. Like we said, the next deadline is November 17th. We will hopefully have an update at that time of what that means for the status of the rule nationwide. Expect a back and forth on this rule through the courts, and we'll also keep an eye on that State Department rule should there be any further movement on that. Like we said, though, this is also a political fight, and the outcome of the 2020 election could change this rule. The Trump administration said if reelected, they would keep the more restrictive public charge rule. The Biden candidacy said we would get rid of the public charge rule if elected. Now, USCIS does remind individuals that seeking testing or treatment for COVID would not be considered a heavily weighed negative factor of someone trying to change status. Concern, however, is that just the rule itself could be a chilling factor, and that concern has been echoed by doctors and public health officials. Also weighed on the mind of some of those judges like Judge Feinerman and the judge we had back in New York that blocked the rule a couple months ago. We give you some resources in the description below the National Immigration Law Center, the National Immigration Legal Services Directory. If you need to talk about your own situation, your own change of status, and your use of public benefits, Medicaid, any kind of testing or treatment you need. If you need to talk to a professional about those and see how that could impact your immigration status, use those resources in the links below.